Now, if you have watched any of my previous videos, you know how big I am about backing up and protecting your personal files. The computer you're using is just an enclosure. What's on it, your personal stuff, is what's really important. And unfortunately, there's just no way to know when that Windows PC is going to crash. But the one thing you can count on is it is going to crash at some point. And when that happens, the last thing you want to deal with is trying to get your files off of that computer if, in fact, you have to reinstall Windows. Now, if you've been doing regular backups, that's great and super smart. But even with regular backups, if you have to reinstall Windows for some reason, you're still going to have to deal with copying your files off that computer and then, once you reinstall Windows, getting those files copied back to your computer. So today, I'm going to show you a super easy way to streamline this process so that if, in fact, you have to reinstall Windows, you don't have to worry about your files at all. Now the system that I'm going to use to show you how to do this is a Windows 10 system, but it also works for Windows 11 as well. I want to show you how the library files work so that you understand what we're doing. As you can see here, you have your desktop, your downloads, your pictures, and all of that. Those libraries are stored in your user profile on the C drive right here. Documents, downloads, desktop, favorites, all that stuff. But the problem is, is everything else is on the C drive as well, including Windows. So if for some reason Windows doesn't load or you can't get into Windows or you have to reinstall Windows, you have all of those files in your user folder and you won't have access to them unless you have them backed up and can just start over and you still have to copy the files. So what we want to do is instead of having the user profile on the same C drive that Windows is on, we want to take your C drive and actually split it into multiple partitions. The easiest analogy I can use to explain this is think of your drive as a pizza. This is one physical drive right now, or a whole pizza. Basically what we want to do is we want to create a half a pizza with pepperoni and a half a pizza with sausage. But when you put them together, it's still one pizza. But the advantage is, is we can move the files off the pepperoni side onto the sausage side. Let me show how to do that. So you want to right click on this PC and then go to manage. Now what will happen is, is you will get this window that pops up. This is your computer management. On the left side, just click on disk management and then you will see your primary drive. In this case, if you have one drive, you're going to see one drive. In this case, the C drive. Now ignore this here. This is your uh, system partition for system settings and all that. Look for the drive that is labeled C. What you want to do is you want to just simply right click on this and choose shrink volume. So this next window will come up. You can adjust the settings here for however many megabytes you want. Uh, I just leave it by the defaults. Click on shrink. Now, as you can see, this drive is no longer taking up this whole space. There is an entirely new partition over here that is empty space. So what you want to do is click on this unallocated partition, right click on it, and just choose new simple volume. The next screen that comes up, just click next, and just accept the defaults here. Click next. For assigned drive letter, it's going to come up with the next available drive, which in this case is D, which is the next letter after C but you can change it to whatever you want. I would recommend leaving it at D. Click Next. Now this option is important because you have an unallocated partition, but it is not formatted, so you can't write anything to it yet. So what we want to do is we just want to simply format it. Now what I'm going to also do is I'm going to change the volume label to Storage. You can name it whatever you want. doesn't matter. Check this box to perform a quick format and just click Next. It's going to confirm the settings that you want. Just click Next. And just like that, it should pop up on your screen like this. Now you have two drives instead of one. One pizza, this half pepperoni, this half sausage. And after that's done, you can just close all these windows, get back to your desktop. Okay, so now we've got our pizza split evenly into two equal halves. But there's one more thing we have to do is we have to get all of your documents and personal stuff to the storage drive and get it off the C drive. And I'm going to show you how to do that right now. Now one of the cool features in Windows is that you can allocate where you want those specific library files to sit. Do you want them to sit on the C drive or another drive? So here's what you want to do. Open up your file explorer and click on this PC. Then you want to double click on your C drive which is your primary hard drive. You want to go to the Users folder and then 
double click on your user folder. It may say owner or whatever name it is that shows up when you log in. There are a handful of folders that are the most important folders that usually contain the most data. And those are desktop, documents, downloads, music, pictures, video. Those six folders right there are generally where the majority of your stuff is going to be stored. Now you have to do this individually for each of these folders, but you only have to do it once. So what you want to do is right click on desktop, go to properties, click on location. Now you'll see here it has C drive users in your user folder and the word desktop. Just click on move and now it will pop up a windows screen here. And then what you want to do is you want to select the storage drive and then now you see it's just a blank drive, but click on new folder and type desktop. Go ahead and click anywhere to continue. Now double click on desktop and you'll see here the folder name shows and click select folder. Now if you look, your default location for that desktop folder is D desktop. Click apply and it's going to ask you, do you want to move the files to the new location? Go ahead and say yes. Give it a couple minutes and it's going to transfer that data to that folder. Now you're going to click OK. And just to show you that it actually is working, if you go back to this PC, now you'll look and see those files are no longer on your C drive. Now they are on the D drive. So go back to your C drive, go back to your user folder, and then do the same thing for the documents folder. You want to right click, go to properties, go to location, select move, and again, this PC, D drive, and create a documents folder. Double click it, and then click select folder, and repeat the process. Now, if you also notice that those folders are no longer visible here under your user profile. So, repeat the process for the downloads folder if you want. You don't have to, but I choose to move as much personal stuff off the C drive as possible. Back to storage create a new folder called downloads, select that folder, select folder, apply. Yes, I want to move them. Click OK. Rinse and repeat for the music folder. And while I'm in here, I'll just go ahead and create those folders since I know I'm going to need them anyway. And now I have all my folders. So this is the music folder. Select it. Apply. Yes. OK pictures, move, and as you can see, it's just a repetitive process, but you're just moving everything off the C drive onto that secondary hard drive. So now when it's all said and done, you can still access your documents, desktop items, all that stuff, no problem, but the difference is it's no longer sitting on that C drive. It's all sitting here on your D drive. Now, a couple things I want to point out. We've physically moved all the stuff off the C drive, which is your Windows installation drive, over to the D drive, which is, again, just we moved everything from pepperoni over to the sausage side. We didn't take it off the disk. It's still sitting on that disk inside your computer, and this is why this is important. Again, if you have to reinstall Windows, you can wipe that C drive completely and never worry about your files. When Windows reinstalls, it will see that secondary partition and all your stuff is there automatically. The only thing you would have to do after reinstalling Windows is to go back into the new Windows installation and change the location for your desktop pictures, videos, music, all that stuff, and point to the D drive because that's where the stuff's at now. A default Windows installation is going to point back to the C drive, so you have to go tell it to do that. It takes a couple seconds, but I just showed you how to do that. The other factor that you need to consider just because you have your files safely moved to a second partition in case Windows crashes doesn't mean that the files are 100% safe. If your hard drive decides to die, a backup is still going to be important. So don't think that because you move them from C to D that they're now backed up. You always want to keep your data in two places because one of them inevitably will fail. Now, if you haven't done so yet, I would also recommend that you create some Windows system disks. You can click that link right up here to the card and I'll show you how to do that. Now, the other thing is that if you 
don't back up your files or you don't have a good solid backup process, click this video right here because I explain to you in depth how to properly back up your files so that you never lose a single file.